All right, so I just uploaded a first draft of the spacecraft class on the GitHub repository. And going along with that, a bunch of the Python tools. So if you go here and you go to spacecraft test, I just have it as a branch now. Once I'm ready and after I get some feedback, I'll go ahead and merge it into the main branch. But here, if you go here and go to Python tools, you'll see I added a bunch of stuff here, including the spacecraft class. So this is kind of like a very very bare bones version of the spacecraft class um, so it's not totally everything that i have when i make all the videos i just made it so i can do the two body the two body problem plus i added the j2 perturbation uh, so you can go ahead and take a look at that and then if you go to the main directory and then go to test and spacecraft hello world is just an example of doing a two body propagation plus j2 perturbation for 100 periods where you should theoretically be able to just run it from here so i'm going to show you how to go ahead and do that and please let me know if you have any issues with running this so if you go into the terminal and then just cd into the test folder where here we have the spacecraft hello world and you run it hopefully on your system it should just go if you have all the dependencies installed and you should just see this which is a plot with a j2 perturbation over 100 periods um, it should just go ahead and come up obviously there's going to be some problems with displaying um, and local paths which i also want to explain but this is how you should theoretically be able to just run it so it's just cd into the test folder and you have to be in this directory and then call spacecraft hello world so the reason this might not work right away is because you have to be in that specific directory when you run this. Uh, so I have local, just to say path, so sysoutpath, path.append, the Python tools, but this implies that you're in a directory that's one above the main directory of the repository. So that's what that's doing. So if you are one directory above, where if you CD to test, like I showed, you should be able to import these no problem because the Python tools directory should be in your path. And then to go ahead and run this. And then another thing is the leap seconds kernel. I also hard coded in to be a relative path um, to the spice LSK and NAIF0010. And again, it assumes you're one directory above the main directory, which is another reason it might not run. And the reason that I did that was because here in the init function of spacecraft class, we have load spice kernels. And doesn't matter what you're doing, every single time you're going to load the leap seconds kernel, just as the way that I have it here, uh, which includes getting that, you know, SEL leap seconds kernel to make sure it's actually in the right place. And you'll get an error if it's not in the right place. So there's two places where this might not work. And then let me know if it doesn't, uh, so we can just debug through this before I push everything I have here into the main branch. So please let me know if you're able to run this because once I have all the feedback and I clean everything up, I'm going to merge this into main. And then after I do that, I'm going to make a whole like 30 minute video going over every single thing that I added on this specific branch so that you can use this class as you go along through the videos is to kind of have a base and you can add on things. So I only added the J2 perturbation, but then by yourself, by following through the videos, you could add the end body perturbation or something like the pork chop plots and be able to run this all on your own. So again, please give me any any feedback on this i'll probably be finalizing it this weekend and making that 30 minute video this weekend so let me know before then